at 17, the same girl I went to school with at both schools was using a drug that I wanted to try, which was synthetic heroin. So I asked her to share, <laughs> pretty much, and I bought some of her and used it with my partner. I was at flight attendant school, studying, um, renting at the time with friends. I didn't realise that what I was about to do was to change my life for a long, long time. It didn't take a long time to get hooked. Um, it took under a week and things just went downhill um, really, really fast. And then you lose memory because I'm trying to remember how long things took to get really bad. But it, you, you actually, because you're in this drug haze, you, you don't even know what's going on really. And you are just living for the drug, not for any person or, or yourself, but for the drug. I've I tried to stop many times throughout my addiction with like home detoxes, getting a prescription from the doctor of like a type of Valium to sleep or a Benzo to sleep um, and or I would buy them and um, codeine pills to do it myself and, and it was still horrific and it didn't last. So my dad called me and asked um, did I want to go into treatment again because I, I turned it down in the past. I didn't didn't want to know about it and something just changed and I said yes. Um, I remember the phone call, it was a collect call I made back to him, he texted me I think and asked me actually and I collect called him at a phone box in Addington on the side of the road and said yeah I want to go and that's how bad things were you know I don't even know like I obviously didn't have credit on my phone, um, no money and I was calling my father to collect and pretty much begging for something to change and for help. So I said yes to to change <laughs> and to go to treatment um, and it was intense um, being in a city, I knew no one, I had no family up here so I had no visitors, I had no support at all. Um, my dad was in New York and my, uh, no my mum had, sorry my mum had moved to Auckland from the earthquakes, this is how out of touch I was, but um, we she had moved after the first earthquake. I didn't see her when I turned up to Capri. It, it was that bad with family um, that she didn't want to know. She wanted to know a, the outcome but not what was going on so much. Um, so <coughs> I came up to Auckland with the methadone addiction, um, an opiate problem and a benzo problem addictions. Um, plus a cigarette smoker, so I had that all going on. I was um, quite a problem at Capri um, my first time there and um, ended up being expelled and stood down for two weeks anyways, I stood down. Um, and in that suspension I decided to cross addict and discover meth. Um, and that took a whole another t turn on my life um, that I had slowly just been regaining back but I didn't know that at the time and it wasn't the same as the opiates because it wasn't physically demanding in comparison. I had um, no idea that they would take my baby um. I really did want to get well this time when I, I came into treatment. I had a different perspective on, a different view on what I wanted, a different feeling inside and, and, and it felt achievable. Um, it still was hard, it's not, it's not easy, it really isn't. Um, and I still left with, with issues but I had so many tools and gained so much knowledge that I could use and I had a support system and with that and the um, continuing care a great counsellor that I had things had opened up I had a network of people I could trust and talk to I knew how to take things and do things differently I knew things like the serenity prayer and NA I knew I just knew things differently um, and 
and with that kind of things became tiring the old way I was living and I started placing these in practice. It's been four, four years, I think, since I first came here and I still come in every week. Um, I do voluntary drug tests because I want to, not because I'm asked to. So the staff are still well involved with me um, and that's because they want to be and they enjoy seeing the end result. And I think that's the main thing, is to see this person's journey. And I, I can watch now through clean eyes of other people's journeys and it's incredible to see the change.